Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can change your header design on scroll. Now I'm not talking about the header settings that we've covered in a previous video. I'm talking about as the user scrolls down the website, your header design completely changes. Now this video will require a little bit of code, but as usual, I'm gonna show you everything that you're gonna need to do. And I'm gonna include the code on my website. So the link to that will be in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as mentioned in the intro, what we're gonna to try to do is transition as the user scrolls from this header to this header. We're not gonna be using the header settings here um, to create a transition. Rather, we're trying to transition from something like this to this. And the way that it's different is because the actual elements in the header, we're actually trying to change. Like for example, we're trying to go from a white button with green text to a green button with white text. We're also gonna go from a white logo to a logo that has green in it and black text. And we're also trying to go from a white text menu to a black text menu. And then if I didn't mention it before, we're also trying to change the background. For example, with this top one, the white one, we're not gonna have a background color because it's just gonna be overlaying this section here. But as the user scrolls down, we might wanna transition it to have like a solid background like this, that's gonna match the rest of our site moving down. So that's kind of the general idea of what we're trying to do. In order to set something like this up, what we're gonna need to do is actually, is set it up in our header here. And you'll notice that this is our header because we have our green border around it, basically showing us that it is a global section, just like a header is. And also under the breadcrumbs, we'll see header. And we can even triple check this by opening up our layers panel and checking that we see the header. Great. And then these down here, these are just sections, but these, these hold the designs that we're gonna be placing inside of the header, okay? I just wanna make that clear so it's not confusing. But what we need to do is set up our header with both of our different designs. Now, what I want to do in this header, again, we want to make sure we have the header selected. We're going to come over to add, we're going to add a container. Now with this container, I'm simply just going to stretch it. And I'm also going to come over here to the inspector panel. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and remove the background color. Now this one is going to be for our white version of our header. And what I'm going to do is just simply grab this container, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna select the container that we just placed in, and I'm going to paste it in and stretch it. So now if I just go ahead and grab the header, and just for example, we add a background color, that's gonna be our white version of our header. Fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and remove the background color because now we want to add this version of our header, right? So let's go ahead and click our header, and you'll notice that right now, I when I have this selected, you're gonna notice it is now blue. And that's because I don't have the header selected. I actually have the container holding the white design header that we created, but we wanna actually select the header element. So we actually need to use the breadcrumbs and make sure that we have the header selected because if we did not, and let's just pretend we copy this design here and we grab this header and we paste it in here. Now what we just did we put our color version of our header and embedded it into this container with the white one. And that's not what we're trying to do and that's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is just delete it here. And again, we wanna make sure that we have our regular header selected, okay? And then we can go ahead and add another container here. Now with this container, we're just simply gonna stretch it. And for this one, we're gonna change the background color to our nice green. And then we're just gonna paste in this header design. And we'll just go ahead and stretch it. Fantastic. So now with that done, all I want to do now is grab these sections here. And I'm just going to hide it for now because we, we no longer need these designs because they are now both in our header. Okay. And now it is time to code. And like I said, I'm gonna show you everything that you're gonna to need to know. Um, and the code is gonna be available on the website. So click the link in the description if you need to copy and paste it for yourself. But now it is basically time to start coding. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is come over here to the left-hand side, go to the code panel and turn this on. Now what that's gonna do is it's basically going to give us access to the coding panel down here and our properties and events panel. These are the only two panels that we're really gonna need in today's video. Now, the first thing I want to do 
is actually switch on over to the master page JS file here. If you don't see that over here in the coding panel, which if it's closed, you can open it just like that. And if you come over to page code and under main pages, you'll see master page JS. And that's exactly where we're trying to be right now. So if you don't see it open down here, just click it here and it'll open right here. Fantastic. And in the master page JS, what we're going to try to do is set it up so where this green header is actually hidden. And then we have our other header, the white version is visible, right? But before we start coding, what we actually need to do is name our elements. So I'm actually going to head on over to the layers panel. I'm going to make sure that our header is down. And right here, I'm just going to grab this section three, which is our header. And under the properties and events, I'm just going to name this one our header, just like that. And you'll notice it changes up here as well. Now for box three, if I go ahead and press the three dots and press hide, what that's going to do is it's going to hide our green header. So what I want to do is reshow it. But now that I have it selected, I want to come over here down to our ID panel. And I'm going to call this one our transition header. And you'll also notice if I just go ahead and zoom in really quickly that I named it transition all lowercase. And then with header, I added a capital H and this is what's known as camel case encoding. Um, so typically that's what you do to name your CSS classes and IDs. You basically leave the first word all lowercase. You don't add any spaces or anything like that. But for every word after the first word, you always capitalize the first letter. So that's kind of camel case. And that's kind of just best practices when coding. So we named the green header transition header. And if I go ahead and press enter, you'll now notice it changed up here. Now let's go ahead and grab the bottom one, which this one is going to be our white header. I'm going to come down here to properties and I'm going to call this one default header and press enter. Now, if I go ahead and zoom out again and look over here, you'll see in the layers panel that it has updated here as well. Fantastic. The next thing we're actually going to need a name is our sections. So right here, the top section on our website, this is called the hero section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this section and instead of it saying section one, I'm going to call this one hero section, just like that. And then I'm actually going to scroll down to the next section. And I'm going to make sure I have the section selected and I'm going to call this one second section. Okay. And you'll see it updated here as well. Now, all of these sections here are just kind of old headers that were designed and we can just move these out the way. So now we have our header, we have our hero section and we have our second section. And now we are done naming all of the elements that we're going to need for this tutorial. So what we're going to do is actually come over to our master page JS file. And the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to want to show our white version of our header and hide the color one, the green one. So what we're going to do is first start by grabbing our transition header, which if we drop down the header, you can see our transition header here, and that's our green one. So I'm going to say dollar sign. W and then I'm just going to type in transition header and press enter because it kind of guesses what you're trying to say. So it makes things a little bit easier. So you don't have to type everything out manually. And I'm going to say dot hide with some quote with some parentheses. So what that's going to do is if I go ahead and press preview and after the page loads, which takes a second sometimes in the editor, but as soon as it loads, you'll be able to tell that the green version of our header is now hidden. But the next thing I want to mention is the whole point of our white version of our header is that it's going to overlay this section. So to fix that, we're just going to go into the editor. We're going to make sure our header is selected. We're going to go over to our header settings and then just simply set it to freeze and show on next section. So now if we go ahead and preview again, once it loads, the green header should disappear and we should have the white version appear here. And I think that looks really, really clean. But now what we need to do is when we scroll down, maybe when this section appears, we might want the transition or the green header to appear and we might want the default header to disappear. And what's one way we could potentially do that? Well, right here, our section, our second section 
happens right when we start scrolling down, we'll be able to see it, right? So it might be kind of worth it to make it to where when we see this section, let's show the green header, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the second section here and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna say on viewport enter. And what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna say dollar sign W transition header. We want to show it. Okay. Now we did put this on the page document. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and copy this or cut it. And I'm gonna move it over to the master page file and paste it in here. Okay. And if I go ahead and scroll up to the top and press preview and wait for it to load, then as soon as I scroll down, you're gonna see that it worked. Now, I do wanna mention a couple things. One, it was quite abrupt, right? As soon as I scrolled down, it just appeared. It, there was no nice fade in. So to do that, all we need to do is come over here and right in between the parentheses for show, what we're gonna do is add some quotation marks and say fade, okay? So now if we go ahead and preview again, and we scroll down, you're gonna notice it fades in really nicely and that looks really clean. Now, the second thing I wanna mention here is here in this section, you're gonna notice that the, the thing that says second section here is red. And that's because this code is running on the master page JS. And the reason it's red here in the master page is because the master page typically only deals with things that are in global sections. So it still recognizes that there is a second section on the page, but it also recognizes that this isn't a global section. So this second section that we're calling to is not gonna be on every single page of our website. And we're gonna cover that in just a few minutes. But the next thing I wanna mention here is when we scroll down, you can see that our header transitions to the green version. But let's say when we scroll back up, we wanna transition it back. And right now it obviously does not. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the editor. Let's grab the hero section, which is right here. And we're just gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna say on viewport enter, and we're gonna say transition header dot hide and add some parentheses. And don't forget to add the quotations with the fade because that's gonna add the nice little effect there, okay? Um, but what we're gonna then do is, just like we did before, is we're gonna grab this text, switch on over to the master page section, and we're gonna paste it in. And again, it's gonna show up as red because this hero section that we have here is not technically a global section, but it's still gonna recognize it on the page and work. So let's go ahead and press preview, and we'll minimize the code panel. So as soon as we scroll down, it transitions to our green header, and if we scroll back up, it transitions back really nicely. And this is basically the effect that we're going for. However, there are a couple more things that I want to kind of cover with you before we end the video. For example, let's say that our transition header doesn't have a full background. Maybe we want to have like a nice little nice opacity. Maybe we want it to be slightly translucent like this. Well, let's say the default header is not transparent, let's say it is green like this. So it's kind of weird transitioning from something like this to something like this uh, without removing the background one, right? So what we can do in order to remove the, the default header is in these codes right down here, what we can do is we can go to the next line here and we can say default header. We want to hide it. And of course, don't forget to add the fade command or fade option. And then for this option here, when we want to hide the transition header and show the default header again, all we're gonna do is call the default header and we're gonna say show with a little fade. Perfect. So now if I go ahead and preview the website again, you're gonna notice that the green header is here, which is our default header. And if we scroll down, it's gonna transition really nicely into the header with the transparent background. And I think that looks really, really nice. But now that I've showed you how to do that, I also wanna tackle one more issue that we kind of covered before um, with these being red. 
That means that they are not on every single page of our website. So let's say we wanted to add a brand new page, just like this, and we wanted to transition between the two. So if I go ahead and preview the website, it's gonna hide the transition header. However, a couple things that you're gonna note. One, it's gonna go up the page. So on every single page that you want the header to follow you down the page with, you're gonna need to make sure you come over to the header settings and set it to freeze. But depending on the page that you're trying to create, uh, the overlap is optional. So kind of like what we did on the home page, where we had the default header be a white design on a and overlap the hero section, that's going to be an option where you overlap the next section. However, if we have a header similar to what we currently have, where it's just a solid color background, then overlapping the next section really is not necessary and just kind of eats into your hero section space. So you don't want to do that, but it's really only useful if you have like a default header with no background color and you wanted to, and you wanted to overlap the next section like this, something like that. That's when the overlap is useful. Okay. Um, but again, if you have a, default header that has like a solid color, then overlapping is not necessary. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. But back to my point of when this is set to freeze, if I scroll down the website, it's not going to transition on this page. Because again, if we open up the master page JS, not every single page has a second section or a hero section title. So what we need to do if we want to work on this page is let's grab this first section here on the page. All we're going to do is we're going to call this one hero section. Okay. Now let's go ahead and grab the second section down here and we can call this one second section. So now if we go ahead and preview the website and we go, Go ahead and scroll down. You're going to see it transitions really nicely. And then if we scroll back up, you're going to see it transitions back very nicely. And the last thing I want you to kind of be careful of here is let's say our hero section is not fit to screen. Let's say we have something that's like 400 pixels. And that means the second section is in view before the user even needs to scroll. So for example, if I go ahead and preview the website, you're gonna see as soon as we preview, it's already transitioning to the other header, which we don't really want, right? Unless we scroll all the way back up to the top, which is kind of weird. So in order to fix this, what I would do is instead of calling this second section, your second section, I'm just gonna name this one section 2045, but I'm gonna to go to the next section the one that's beyond the scroll, and I'm gonna call this one second section, okay? So now, if I go out and preview the website, we're gonna have our default header here, and it looks nice. And then if the user scrolls down a little bit further, it then transitions, and then we can transition back really nicely. But all in all, that's how you create a really simple header transition across your website with different header designs. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Work Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.